Right then lads, let's crack on with uh, part 35, welcome back, let's go see uncle. Let's try and get this, let's try and get this game done then. Seems easy enough I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, mm. that is plain unfair. It always does it's though. inaccurate and not what's gonna happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, man. Not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. We should get on with this. What are we doing, lads? We building this house or something? Ah, uh, yes, we are. Left. Oh, so we're actually building this thing then. Right. Hammer nail. Carry. I love the epilogue to this game, man. Carry. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail okay. and I'll nail it. What is this soundtrack, man? So hard to build a little house together in the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever I'm a nail. No matter what the weather, we're together. Literally building this house, lads. And Arthur, Arthur, I mean, John is here. It's getting even longer as usual. Maybe we should have this cut. This uh, hair and beard cut after this or something. Oh, that's the base though. Left. John's got his shirt off. And now Cody's just there, barking orders like. Let me have a rule and a song. Your lads is coming together. <laughs> this soundtrack, you know, man. So hard to build a little house together. In the snow, or the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any nice. weather. We're together. Oh, God. <laughs> Tiles.
Alright lads, I think it's done. And I think that's everything! <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Okay, what was he doing then? My darling Abigail. Writing a letter. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. Mm. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Mm. Yep. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. A few days later, so I guess you'll be coming back. Here we are, lads. A bounty hunter out of it. Looks good, though, don't it? Uncle, I thought you was... Oh, God. Where the hell? Right then, lads. Yeah, it's me again. Go on, girl. Let's, uh, go to see Uncle. Let's go see Uncle then, lads. That's fine. Let's go, boys. Let's go see Uncle. Just one time, I hope to find you <laughs> working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin', so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some. Two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. <laughs> we don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but. They taste awful. I don't like goats. <laughs> and cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? 
You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. Mm -hmm. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Let's go, lads. Let's get ourselves a barn. I can't move like I used to. Then I never oh, was that fast. You're okay. Right there, let's go, lads. It's Charles. Into Blackwater. Let's go. You see anything we should be worried about? Skinners. Now, no. this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some Let's country group doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <sighs> Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I mm -hmm. can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh no! You need someone with some sense to negotiate, and some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home, and I do so like it there. <laughs> you like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. <laughs> you ain't even got furniture. Come on! Let's go, lads. Let's go left. Hey, mister. Morning to you. This is him. Speak to the lumber salesman. Right then, lads, off we go again. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Mm. Maybe that one. Yeah. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again. What the hell? Yeah, it, and it's you, been sir. A pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Okay. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, but I, this I, man I, is very oh annoying. God. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I, John! Sadie. Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Come on, lads. Do more bounties. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. A delicate flower. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Yeah. Let's go, lads. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay. I'll follow you. Hey, lads, let's go. Let's go to Painted Sky. All right. The Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but... Beat this horse. You're good, girl. The hell? We'll keep up then. Stay with me from now on. What was you saying? So where was I? An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now. Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. 
It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. Okay. But we're gonna get to him first. Right then, let's just get there. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo guy. Oh. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. Mm. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. <laughs> we fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Mm -hmm. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. I you wanna hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you! Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. <laughs> you should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. <laughs> oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go, lads. Let's just get there, then. Hang in there, girl. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Okay then, lads. Where Let's is get he? down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Okay, let's go, lads. Great clock. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly Shit. and no but Come on, Cortez, you Mexican. You got him? Yeah. I think so. Just about. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Ooh. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Well, that was easy, lads. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? Just put my hat on. It's different there now. Follow Sadie to Rhodes. Uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. I don't think so, oh, mate. Shut up. Go lads, got this bounty in. Guess it's a, a long ride.
What's happening now then, lads? We are boys in roads now. Looking to sell your way to buy some of the This place still gives me the creeps. <laughs> Hit your horse up here. Hitch. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Okay. Remove Ramon Cortez. Let's drop him a minute and loot the twat. Mind if I check your pocket? Thank you. Oh, that went much, but okay. Let's take him in. Go, lads. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. <laughs> You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive yeah. and we can get them out of here. Okay, no pubs. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Mm. <laughs> okay. You got a feeling uh, something's gonna happen. It's gonna get broken out or something. We have to defend them. A lot of waiting around. Uh oh. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. Off you go, Bring lads. Your back. You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Off there you go, we lads. Have it, boys. Let's go, lads. Dead eye boys. God. Ooh. Ooh, what was that? Come on. The jail. The jail. They blew my jail apart. Oh, he left? He's gone. Oh, He's God. gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. $100. 75 I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Yeah. Let's go, lads. Mount up. Let's uh, look one of these, though. Let's 
go. Okay. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Okay. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're uh I need to see about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, <laughs> but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fellow. Okay. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw <laughs> just to let him go. <laughs> if that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. Mm -hmm. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. Mm -hmm. I That's hope true. that rationale works out for all of us. Jesus Christ, look all them. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Okay. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Okay, let's go then. Yeah. Where are we going, Sadie? Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Okay. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Let's go up. Okay, let's go. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. Mm -hmm. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. <laughs> Do as you're goddamn told. Ooh. And shoot well. <laughs> oh, I love Sadie, man. Oh, God. Okay, go on, girl. Go on, Sadie, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Raleigh. God. Any more? God. 
up, man. I can't see anything. Oh. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, get my bolt action out. Come on, lads. I shoot okay. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do Ooh. about that. Jesus Christ, man. That's it. Yours. Um. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna have to get some of uh, this in me, man. Let's get some food in me. Come on, lads. There he is! In the boat! We've got to clear that beach! He's throwing us here! Jesus. Go on it! Don't get your fucking... <laughs> get out of there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <laughs> <sighs> Finally got him, boys. Hey, look out. There's more of them. Oh, shit. Hey, Shut your gut down! Ooh, CD's a badass, man. Okay, let's get our rifle up, boys. Let's go boys. It's on. Any more? Are we done? Oh, that was close. You might just be. Son of a bitch. Let's get some more food in us. Let's loot him well, again. That's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Ah, too tough for you, John Marston. All I'd right. stay well clear. Let's put him on oh, a horse. I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Stop. Come on. Happy days. All right, let's go, boys. It's about time we collected this bounty. Right to roads. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman! And you are a dead man! The Del Lobos will not forgive this! <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you! And we will kill you! Don't you think so, mate. Anyone who is close to you! I preferred it when you was offering money! Let's go, lads. Come on, well follow me then. Um, yeah, I don't think so. That's fine, just have another one back. Don't leave us again, John. 
We'll keep up next time then, innit? So, like you were saying before. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse. About to be taken to San Danita, hang. You ain't good for anything. <laughs> Let's go, lads. Swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. $5,000! Yeah, okay. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time <laughs> you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my <laughs> friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Mm, well, no think so, I mate. they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and... Come on. Big mistake. Real big mistake. What's happening, lads? I'll see you oh, again. Okay. What, what? No. I don't want that dude. Go away. I want him. Okay, let's take him in. Well... That one. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now goodbye. Let's go, boys. Happy days. Soon, I don't think so, mate. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. Mm. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love Sadie, man. She's such a great character. Alright, what's next then, lads? Back to Butcher's Hope. Oh, is that the barn then? Happy days. Hitch the horse. Stay by this post. Right then, what are we doing, lads? Let's check this house then, before we do anything. Anything in here that we can have? Nothing at all. What's in here then? It's my fast travel stuff. Hmm, okay. Let's go, let's go see, uh, Uncle. Hmm, can you have a bath in here? You literally cannot have a bath in here. Well, that's stupid. Okay, lads, let's go see, uh, Uncle. Inside? The hell? Here we are, lads. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. What the 
house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the menu oh, to God, tread. Off we go. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the menu to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands oh, see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when Getting we drunk, send boys. a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and let our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, oh, drink about, gone. and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. <laughs> <laughs> John, oh god get out here uncle's gone what? he's fine let me sleep get out here now what the hell is going on man <sighs> that fat man will be fine no he won't skinners skinners you think of course. My guess is they went that way. No, my God. other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. Let's go Let's get Uncle Boys. Us. We know this is a trap. Let's go Let's get go. Uncle Boys. Follow Charles. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about him. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. Yeah. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Where? Come on. I see no blood. There's literally no blood there, mate. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad. This might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. What the fuck? Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already. How'd you know, with though? With only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Alright, let's go, lads. Did you hear something? Huh? Stop riding like a lunatic. Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees. Right then, there. Lads, let's go. Let's go save him. Stay. To the trees. Come on. Crossbow out, lads. Where we going, Charles? Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Okay. Look out. Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. Oof. They're down. Move. Let's go, boys. 
Let's go, Charles. Let's loot. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Let's go, lads. them pass. Ooh. That's that, it. man. Patrol's taken care of. And we're looking for something. Us, most likely. Come on. Let's find where they're holding him. Let's look these fuckers. Wagon driver. Keep on him. <laughs> the fuck is that? He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay. Take him, John. How about son? Let's go. Loot. Seriously? I think I see something. Uh huh. What can you see, mate? Because I can't see fuck all. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. God. My God. Oh, we man. gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Oh, oh shit. Charles. Oh, well done, Charles. Okay, boys, is on. It's on. Uh oh. Save Uncle. That's it. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. Uncle, Uncle cut free. For me, John. I'll still rip his head off. You're okay, old man. Okay. I look okay. Oh, look, look his off. back. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we got here just in time. Come on. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on. 
Oh shit. Really lads? Got it? Cause here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that door. God. We have them tracked. Don't let them go. I, I don't feel right. God, there's loads of them, man. Get me out of here. Oh, oh man. God. Ooh. Any more of them? Ooh, that was lucky. Why is he hiding behind the tree for him? God, look all them. Let's go. Okay, let's go, lads. Come on, lady. Right. Let's go, lads. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of these woods. I'm getting. I feel real weird. Oh. Trust me. Oh, man. Let's go. At least we finally got him. I could have been burnt alive, man. I bet he saw though. We ain't out till we're home. Right hard. Oh man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Birds don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. <laughs> ah, I can't, I can't hit my back. Oh, bless him. But that is fucking sore, though. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Oh, whoa. I don't hey, feel lads. good. Uncle. <sighs> Hey. Where? Can't move. Let's get you down. Easy. I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him out. Oh, okay. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Don't get all sentimental now, old man. <laughs> and I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Oh god, man. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Mm. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> Uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. Ooh. Alright, what's this then, lads? What's going on? Another fucking loading screen. Seems to be more loading screens in the fucking endgame. Shoveling shit.
Ah, oh, what's happening now then, lads? I have, I literally have no idea when, when the credits will roll. I mean, like, it seems like it's taken for ages to finish this game, man. Oh, they're back? What the hell? You... You're... <laughs> I... He always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Rufus. Oh, that's Rufus. He's... Loyal, dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. He was in the first game, man. That's your great. Idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Happy days, boys. Is this where the credits roll? Mm, maybe not. Nope. Not the last mission. Right then lads, I guess this will be it for this part. As always, if you like this video, go ahead, give me a like, subscribe and a share. As it really helps out the channel a lot. And uh, I will see you in the next one guys. Cheers.